Hi everybody, I'm Stacy Wells of Stacy Wells Artistry and I'm here today in East Texas and this is my very first YouTube video. So thank you all for joining me today. I appreciate you being here. Please keep that in mind as I'm a little bit nervous and it's very strange talking to this phone with nobody else in here. <laughs> I'm kind of creeped out. Anyway, I'll try and overcome. <laughs> I just wanted to give everybody a face to go with the hands and all of that and uh, just on this first video and uh, let y'all know, uh, introduce myself and let y'all know a little bit about what I'm about. And so I um, wanted to share that I am a stained glass artist primarily and have been for about 12 years. And then I started pour painting and that particular bug is bit because I've been uh, quite obsessed ever since I started and um, I also dabble in some traditional acrylic painting and uh, I do some of that as well but I'm mainly a pour painting artist and I would like to pass along uh, some of what I've learned and some of the mistakes I've made and I hope maybe some people won't have to make those same mistakes or maybe pick up a thing here or there um, none of this is things most of this is not anything I've come up with um, some of it might be but most of it I've learned um, by watching YouTube and talking to other artists and uh, maybe some reading here and there um, but you can learn a lot on YouTube you know I put up the shelves in this room watching YouTube um, so it's not to be discounted as a place of information and um, I've learned a lot there so uh, other than that I'm self-taught I have never had an art class in my life and um, I, uh, I think it should be fun I think we you know should all get on here and be adventurous and expressionistic and uh, get messy and get dirty and make mistakes and start over and that's the way it ought to be. And because of that, um, I, I don't obey a lot of rules. You won't see me with a graduated cylinder or a scale on here. That's a whole lot like chemistry class. And I don't know about you, but I've been there and I didn't really enjoy it all that much. So uh, I won't be doing a lot of that. I eyeball my proportions and uh, I'm usually pretty close to right. Um, I, I, I hope that works for everybody. Uh, I will um, tell you how I, how I reason things out and put that in my description. Um, today I thought we'd do just a regular old flip cup and uh, I've got four cups here ready to go and some paints already mixed up and my canvas is coated with a white base coat and underneath I've taped the bottom of the canvas because I like to do that to keep it from getting really messy and I've also sprayed the underside of the canvas with some uh, distilled water because I was watching Gina DeLuca's channel which by the way is a great channel and I've learned a lot on there and I, uh, she was saying that that will help to tighten up the back of your canvas so that sounded good to me so I do that now every time I just spray a little bit on there and then kind of rub it in real quick with your hands and it seems to work really well um, all right well let me get your angle adjusted there a little bit so you can um, see what we're doing down there and um, I, again, I appreciate everyone being here today and I hope you'll tune in again. All right, just a second. Let's get you on the canvas. Does. That took me a little longer than I thought it was going to, but I think I got you fixed. Okay, well, like I said, I got four cups already here. All of these paints, except the white, do have silicone in them because I'm a big fan of silicone. And uh, I also put a little bit in the bottoms of the cups because, um, number one, I think it helps with cells, and number two, um, it helps to know when your cups are all emptied out. The paint will come out easier, in other words. And I've already put a little white in all of these. Now we're gonna go for some navy. This is navy satin enamel. Get all that in there. Okay. And this I believe is ocean green by finer touch. This one is uh, 
Liquitex Primary Blue. I may not remember all of these, so I will list it in the description, but if I remember them, I'll mention it. My memory's not what it used to be. Okay. This is Liquitex Green. Not sure which green. I've got it listed. This is Deep Turquoise by One Certain Neighbor. Love turquoise. Okay. And y'all can see on there, you can see on there when the um, paint starts to come on down out of those cups. Gives you an idea about when your weight is over. formation I'm recording Colton. Don't come in here. Sorry about that, y'all. I've got a nine-year-old. Okay. Get that corner real good. I can't see those corners up there, but I'll take care of them real good in just a minute. I know I need to get some over that edge. Torch that again after I dry my hands. I don't use gloves when I'm doing just a plain acrylic pour. If I'm doing a bloom or something like resin work, I will put on some gloves, but I'm 
Mix that all real good. Okay, let me be sure I got those corners over there on the ends. I can't see. Pretty. Let me get y'all down and get you down for a closer look at that. And then I'll post on my next video, I'll show this one when it's dry because you can't really go by what people say. You gotta go by what, what you see. All right, let's look here. Some nice things happening on this one, I think. Hopefully, that glare did not interfere too much. Okay, I want to thank you all for joining me today. Please tune in for my next video. I'll be posting another one in at least a week, probably within a couple of days. All right, thanks a lot.